I don't really feel anything. It's a three to one gear ratio, so. Yeah, I just. Don't and just feel one it. time through, you know, you're not going back and forth anymore. Only one time, really? That's right. Even before okay. galleon number three was finished, before I had finished the wood, I had a guest, Sylvia Wilson, uh, come to the studio. And she wanted to try out her lino cut that she'd done on type high linoleum block. And so we did. It's too tight. Too tight. I have to loosen it. That extra blanket made it. Oh, those work together. Yes, isn't that beautiful? That's brilliant. That was Tom's doing. Actually, the UW had a chain um, adjusted press, too. That's very cool. What's your impression? I think it turned out pretty good. Don't you? Yeah. When I was making plans to do this video, I had big plans. I was going to make a planographic print. I was going to make an etching. I was going to make a stencil uh, plate of some sort. But when it came down to the deadline, I couldn't do it all. So I came up with the next best thing, which was a little woodblock print, which I printed with watercolor using the Japanese method, and an intaglio combination of collagraph and uh, a copper engraving, which incidentally has a window in it, which qualifies it as the stencil. The only thing I couldn't do was the planographic or the vitriography print. But I did that on galleon number one, so if you're interested in vitriog vit vitriography, then I suggest you look that up. So you saw me printing the Japanese wood block, which I will incorporate into the print later on. Now you see me mixing two colors of ink to blend into the intaglio plate. And in the foreground, you can see the copper plate. I gave myself just a few pieces of paper to uh, Keep my, keep my time reasonable and uh, that included about four sheets of arches cover paper which had been dampened ahead of time uh, by soaking it and then keeping it between blotters for a couple of hours. So I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and you'll see me testing galleon number three. I'm Bill Ritchie. Galleon number three incorporates a new design compared to presses that I made in the past in that it's rack driven. In other words, instead of relying on the pressure from the rollers, it is geared and the bed has a rack connected to the gears. So it runs without any pressure on the top roller or the bottom roller. The other feature that the galleon has is synchronized pressure screws so that you don't have to get hold of both of them, you don't have to count them, they're going to stay synchronized, the roller is going to stay flat. This is going to California and for the rest of the video I'll be testing it using uh, a, a variety of plates. I have a collagraph plate that I'm using only the borders of, and I have an engraved plate also that's been perforated, and I have a relief block which I printed in uh, with Japanese method using watercolor. That'll be what I'll be doing in the video testing gallium number three. I'm going to test using the relief block first. And to set my pressure, I'm going to take a block that's the same thickness as the woodcut that I made, about a quarter of an inch, and roll it through until it seems firm. You don't want to crush a wood block. I'll go with that for the first experiment. 
that clicking sound you hear is when I run to the edge or the end of the rack. For the first try, for the first trial proof, I'm going to uh, print the block face down on the paper. I'll put a sizing catcher on the block so that the block won't get water on the roller. Loosen the pressure accordingly. Still too tight. Probably too tight. That seems to feel about right. Now I'll put the print back in the damp book because I'm going to be printing it in Chalio later on and I want to keep the moisture that I have. Galleon Press comes with three blankets, traditional etching press blankets, a sizing catcher, the thin blanket, the forming blanket, thick, all wool, and the roller blanket, sometimes called the pusher. Sizing catcher goes down first, then I adjust the pressure. Since this is the first time I've printed this plate, I have no idea what the pressure should be. In the future, when I know, I can look at the roller rulers, which are little markings on the side, this plate is a kind of assemblage, a collage of plates. Okay, well that uh, completes the test of Galleon Halfwood Press number three on its way to California. I'm Bill Ritchie. Thanks for watching.